Hey everyone, it's Gerhard here with Gizo Scale Trains. Welcome to the uh, first real layout update here. Welcome to the train room. Uh, we're heading in and um, pretty excited because I basically have the lower loop set in terms of where I want things to be. Um, some big additions here over the last couple weeks. I actually built a lift out bridge here and I actually switched this entire lower loop to the fast track. Um, I was having some issues with my switches and really didn't realize how much fast track I had accumulated. And so with a few extra switches, I kind of have things going. So, um, so I've got a outer loop here. And as you can see, it, you can tie into that inner loop in two spots. There's one also on the other side there. Um, but I do have those blocked in between. So I pulled the wit with wires off. So these are two isolated, uh, tracks and in, in conventional I've been operating these now for I think about three weeks um, the really exciting thing is that last night I here we're gonna duck underneath the lift bridge you may laugh about that you wonder why is it a lift bridge and I'm ducking underneath well I don't have to don't actually have uh, here in order to actually get this fully created I'm, I'm going to actually have to cut off the uh, the pins, the fast track pins, so that this can be lifted up and out. Um, so right now I still have to obviously remove the track. So this is kind of exciting. Last night I wired up my DCS for the first time ever. So I am a total DCS rookie and I have to say in less than 24 hours, I'm pretty pumped up about what it can actually do and very surprised. You can see what I'm hoping to do here. I have this concrete ledge um, on the upper part and my plan is I'm actually planning to get a twin track going a whole way around the room here. Uh, there's some plywood just kind of sitting there that I'm playing around with and then that's going to plan to extend and actually cross over and there's going to be some tunnels here. But um, it's going to be a while before we get there yet. So first things first, got to get the lower loop um, solidified. And that is getting close. So let's run some trains. So the cool thing with this DCS, which for those of you who know the system, um, you know, this is old hat. But for anyone who hasn't, it's actually incredibly easy to do. Um, you know, you basically have... Your wires going from the transformer into the TIU and then, if you can see that, going up and into the track. Really, the only step was to basically put the wires into the TIU and then into the track. Nothing more to it than that. Obviously, you can get very complicated and whatnot, but um, right now I only have one power lead going to these tracks. That's it and uh, everything is running very well. And in fact, in with the DCS, it's running better than it did in conventional. So all you gotta do is um, select your engine. So here you can choose between the two. So let's get that steamy firing up first. So you select it. Whoop. And then you just wanna do a startup. And off she goes. Oh yeah, it says maintenance required. That's just a um, that's just a reminder based on number of hours you've run. And off she goes. So scale miles per hour. Let's get it going around. I don't know. I like around kind of in that 13 to 15 range. I mean, you got your basic commands. But I just love how smooth. Everything runs with this. It's to me that's the most incredible part of it. So right now the, uh, the steam engine's running on the outside track. There you can see the second set of switches to gain access to the inside track. And I've already had some fun with running both trains on the same track, which obviously in conventional mode, uh, not something I was doing. So I'm pretty pretty pumped up about that. That was fun. All right, and then we got our other engine, so all you got to do here is just go engine, select the CN, 
Let's get this one fired up. Not sure exactly why. I must have pressed something because I don't seem to have my diesel running sounds with the CN engine. As the CN's going here, you can see the, uh, the steam engine crossing the bridge. So I'm pretty happy with the basic construction of that bridge so far. And then, if we want to get these guys running the exact same, we can get this guy up to 13. And what I was amazed by was the fact that they will run at exactly the same speed, which to me was, uh, I was surprised. I mean, I really was. Again, for those of you who have been using the uh, DCS for a while, you're probably gonna roll your eyes, but for me, that was pretty cool. Any of you just want to switch back and forth, you just got to press your engine. And if you want to, there you go, it just automatically toggles. So then you can just hit your whistle and get right to work with this one. Anyways, that's the basic layout update. Um, lots has happened, and uh, we got DCS, so we're we're cooking with gas now. And now we're going to try to tie in the legacy system, um, hopefully sometime this week, and uh, and not have too many uh, train accidents here. That's all for now. Take care and happy railroading.